Bob Irving was just 18 years old when he walked out of a university classroom and went home to tell his parents he was quitting to pursue a dream of being on the radio. He soon landed a job at a small station in Estevan, Saskatchewan for $200 a month. From there, a stop in Brandon before getting his big break with CJOB late in the summer of 1973. And for 40 years, Bob Irving has been an outstanding broadcaster in Manitoba. The young broadcaster landed in Winnipeg just after the World Hockey Association made a splash as the Jets signed Bobby Hall. Bob obviously quickly proved his worth because without any play-by-play -play experience, he was handed the play-by-play -play reins of the CFL's Winnipeg Blue Bombers, a job Bob still does with passion to this day. He may go. He's, he's go. gone. If he can keep on his feet, he's gone. Touchdown, Javon Johnson. Oh, what a play. He ran about 240 yards for that one. Hey, it's Hal Anderson. I've had the pleasure of working with Bob Irving for almost 20 of his 40 years in this business, and there is no better broadcaster. This spring, when they named the media center at the new investors group field after Bob, I had him on my show, and he talked about how lucky he is. When I was 19 years old and started in this business, and you and I can, I think, share this this thought, all I wanted to do was be a sportscaster. Yep. That's all I wanted to right. do. I wanted to read sportscasts. <laughs> yeah. And, and nothing beyond that. And some of the things that have happened to me, the chance to do Bomber play-by-play -play and now this, it's it's just beyond any expectation anybody would have. And, and it's really, it really is cool, you know. It, yeah. it really is. And you know what else is really cool, Bob? You are so talented, so humble, I'm proud to call you my friend, Knuckles. Kelly Moore works with Bob in the CJOB Sports Department. I've been blessed with the opportunity to work with Bob Knuckles Irving for the better part of 15 years and have witnessed firsthand what it is to be a broadcaster of the first degree. We marvel at Bob's talent and we admire the humble nature that has made Bob so beloved by his colleagues and so respected by the athletes, coaches, and management people he has such enviable relationships with. Congratulations on this honor, Knuckles, and because it's simply not in your DNA to say or acknowledge this, no one deserves this award more than you. Good morning, everybody. 738, this is Bob Irving. Blue Bomber head coach Tim Burke told his weekly 680 CGOB radio show that dealing Buck Pierce to BC had nothing to do with giving up on the veteran quarterback. Hi, Bob. Richard Cloutier here. I grew up listening to Bob. Yes, I was a child when Bob was broadcasting Bomber and Jet Games. He hates it when I bring this up. Bob gave me terrific advice in university, and thanks to Knuckles and Peter Warren, I'm gainfully employed at CJOB. You need to know that Bob is the model in tone, in style, and work ethic. He sets the example at CJOB and right throughout the industry. He's the guy that you want to be like, and it starts... It starts with the writing. Bob, you are a great writer, a great broadcaster, and community leader. And above all, you're a friend. Congratulations, Knuckles, on the Broadcast Excellence Award. Hi, my name is Gary McKenzie. I'm the Regional General Manager for Chorus Entertainment. I'd like to congratulate Bob on his 40 years of broadcasting. Bob began his career with CJOB September 1st, 1973, and has been the voice of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers since the 1974 season, which is 39 years. Bob brings a degree of credibility and integrity to our listeners and is an outstanding member of the community and our radio stations. Bob, congratulations on 40 excellent years in broadcasting. Here we go, the last play of the game, barring a penalty, Kevin Glenn in the shotgun. And he throws it long down the left side for Stiegel. He's got it, and he's gone. Milt Stiegel's going all the way for a touchdown on the last play of the game. A hundred-yard touchdown pass. Stiegel caught the ball between two stunned Edmonton defenders around center field. I don't think he could believe it himself. And there was nobody left to beat and he took it into the end zone. Bob was elected to the Canadian Football Hall of Fame in 1997 for his outstanding work broadcasting Bomber games. Bob often hears from fans of the Bombers from as far away as South Africa. He has also been recognized three times by the Queen for his outstanding contribution to Manitoba. Bob Irvin, CJOB Sports Director. Congratulations on being named 
the Broadcaster Association of Manitoba's 2013 recipient of the Broadcast Excellence Award.